Hello, I'm Doyoung Kim from KAIST, and I will talk about scale exapass that addresses the many core scalability issue in the exapass file system. Recently, the number of cores in a single server is rapidly increasing, and the devices are getting faster and quicker. Some servers support more than 100 cores, and the storage device achieved 100 times higher throughput and 400 times shorter latency than hard disk drive. So the modern file system design which implemented in the 1980s faces new challenges such as many core scalability. Most journaling file systems have two types of operation. The first one is file system operations such as create or unlink system core. It updates the in-memory state of file system and delivers the update log to the journaling process. We define the operation that delivers the log to the journaling process as in-memory logging. The second one is journaling operation. It is forced to begin by absent system call. This is called on-disk logging conversely to in-memory logging. One of the most widely used journaling file system in Linux is XFS. XFS was created by SCI in 1993 and is the port file system for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. XFS has been introduced to address the scalability issue of the Unix file system. It supports the 64-bit file system and partitions the disk layout into fixed size for scale of file access. And it also employs the P plus 3 to efficiently manage the pre blocks and pre idols. Accepts have uh, focused on their effort for addressing the scalability issue. However, Accepts is no longer as scalable on modern hardware device as it once was. This graph shows the scalability failure of Accepts. We use 112 core machine and Intel obtain SSD. In this figure, throughputs are normalized to throughput of the four cores. We run three metadata update, up, metadata update intensive workloads. The x-axis is the number of cores, and y-axis is the normalized throughput. In barmail and dbench, XFS fails to scale beyond the 40 cores. And in MD test, after the 20 cores, the performance decreases and it becomes lower than the base performance. Many scale of file system already have been introduced. There are scale of design for ex 4 aptfs, and xv6. However, there have been no studies for scalability of xfs. Unfortunately, even though both ex 4 and xfs are the journaling file system, it is not possible to apply the solution of ex 4 directly to xfs. This is because the journaling subsystem design of two file systems are quite different. This shows the difference between the journaling mechanism of ext4 and xfs. When ext4 commits the transaction, it flushes the original page directly. On the other hand, xfs first creates the log by copying the updated data and then flushes the log to the disk. Unlike ext4, xfs separates the memory space for metadata update, journaling, and for each transaction. It enables the XFS to avoid any kinds of the conflict that might occur when two or more transactions share the same memory space. These two file systems also have differences in on disk logging. In ex 4 the single thread commits the transaction one by one sequentially. However, XFS creates a thread for each transaction and each thread commits the, each transaction concurrently. Novel approaches making ex 4 many core scalable have been proposed. These are using multiple running transactions and multiple committing transactions. As the number of the ongoing transaction grows, the page complex become more severe than in original ex 4 So the studies for the scalable design of ex 4 focus on resolving the page conflict among the multiple journal transactions. However, XFS can avoid the transaction conflict due to its journaling system. So what should we do for making the XFS file system scalable? In our works, we first identify the root cause of 
scalable, scalability failure in XFS. We first measured the detail of the unlinked latency in the VAMIL workload. And then we compared the latency of in-memory logging and metadata update in the unlinked system core. As you can see, with larger number of the core, overhead of in-memory logging is more significant. The percentage of in-memory logging in unlink increased from 48% to 87% when the number of the core increases. So we investigate what happened inside the in-memory logging. In our, in our experiment, we found that increased in-memory logging overhead is due to the lack contention. The lag wait time accounts for 97% of in-memory loggings at 112 cores. Let's see the where the lag contentions are in the XFS journaling. In the XFS journaling, in-memory logging creates the log and then insert it to the wrist. The general thread created by AppSync construct the log buffers by using the log in the log wrist and then pluses the buffer to the disk to commit. Two types of the logging need to access the same log, so same log wrist, so there are contention on the log wrist. XFS control the concurrency of the accessing the log wrist with two rocks. For in-memory logging, XFS uses the two rocks, XC, CTX lock, and XC CIA lock. In-memory logging first acquires the read rock and then creates the log. Multiple in-memory loggings can create the log concurrently. After creating the log, it acquires the exclusive log to insert the log into the wrist. The exclusive log is for protecting the log wrist. And last, it releases the two rocks. For on disk logging, it needs to acquire the only, the only the right rock or CTX log. In this locking mechanism, there are two contentions that delay the, delay the memory loggings. The first point of contention is between in-memory logging and on-disk logging on XC CTX lock. Due to the right lock of on-disk logging, all the in-memory loggings are blocked. The second point of contention is among the multiple in-memory loggings on XC CIA lock. The multiple in-memory loggings are serialized by the exclusive lock. We propose the techniques that eliminate this contention and newly developed file system is called as scale XFS. To address the contention between in-memory logging and on-disk logging, we propose the double log list. In double log list, we create the two log list. Each logging can be working simultaneously by assigning its own log list, such as one for in-memory logging and another for on-disk logging. With the double log list, the in-memory loggings are no longer blocked by on-disk logging. And in double log wrist, new in-memory loggings always check whether the wrist is available to avoid being blocked by on-disk logging. If the log wrist is unavailable due to the on-disk logging, in-memory logging use the another wrist. In-memory logging in the original XFSs are serialized due to an exclusive lock that protects the log wrist. And it causes the contention among the multiple in-memory loggings and makes the in-memory logging slower. To eliminate the contention, we propose the POCO in-memory logging. POCO in-memory logging makes the log wrist as a set of the POCO wrist. In-memory logging inserts the log into the wrist at the core on which it is being executed. So the insertion can be done without contention or serialization. In this technique, when on disk logging begins, it merges all POCO list to single list. Remaining works for on disk loggings are same with the XFS generally. By using the mer merged list, it starts to construct the log buffer from the merged list and then commit the disk buffer. We also find out the contention on global journaling state protected by the exclusive lock. To resolve this contention, we also propose the stride space counting, the variant of the slope counter. Please read our paper for more information. 
Now is the evaluation. To evaluate our work scale exapass, we use 112 core machine with 512 gigabyte DRAM. The server has the four sockets and 28 core CPUs on each socket. And for storage device, we use the Intel Optane SSD 905P. And the CentOS 7.4 operates this server. We implemented the scale Exapass based on Exapass in Linux kernel version 5. We evaluate the throughput and latency of X scale Exapass against the Exapass EX4 and scale Exapass D. Scale Exapass D is the scale Exapass that only the double log risk feature is enabled. The above graph shows the throughput with varying the number of the core. The left graph is the result of Bamel workload of Firebench, and the right one is result of client workload of Dbench. The x-axis is the number of the core, and y-axis is the throughput of each workload, and the higher is better. In Dbench, the throughput is 2.2 times higher than XFS and 4.6 times higher than EX4 respectively. And in Bamel, the throughput is the 1.4 times higher than XFS and 1.9 times higher than EX4 respectively. Furthermore, after the 20 core, 20 core XFS fails to scale. On the other hand, scale XFS can scale beyond the 20 cores. The throughput keeps increasing as the number of core increases. For scale accepts D and scale accepts, this could improve the latency of metadata operations by reducing the lock contention. The two graphs shows the average latency of our link with varying the number of the cores for Pamel and D bench. The x axis is the number of core, and y axis is the average latency of our link system core. And the lower is better. When only double, list, double log risk is enabled, the latency of unlink decreased by 56% and 38% in Bamel and Dbench respectively. When we enable all features that we proposed, the latency of unlink decreased by 84% and 85% in Bamel and Dbench respectively. To conclude, first, in this works, we precisely identify the root cause of scalability failure of the XFS file system. And we find the two major contention in the XFS file system. That is, contention between in-memory logging and on-disk logging, and then contention among the multiple in-memory logging. To resolve this problem, we propose the double log risk and poker in-memory logging. With simple but elegant data structures, we minimize the modification. Due to the minimal modification of on-disk logging, scale XFS can mount the, mount the existing XFS partition. Lastly, in scale XFS, throughput of the D-Bench increased by 220%, and metadata operations latency decreased by 85, 85%. And also, scale XFS scales well while XFS performance is saturated beyond the 20 cores. And we have unloaded the source code of scale XFS on GitHub. You can check it. Thank you for listening. <laughs>